Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Sig Sauer 1911-22. This is a full-size 1911 chambered in 22 long rifle and it was manufactured for Sig Sauer by German sports gun GSG. GSG are known for being rimfire experts and they did a spectacular job on this pistol. While it might not be an exact replica of the bigger brother in 45 ACP, this 1911-22 is pretty darn close. The external dimensions of this pistol are near enough to the original that you can use any holster that was originally molded for the 45 ACP version. When you hold this gun and as you shoot it, because of the weight of it and the dimension of it, it really does not feel like you're shooting a 22. But the weight of it, chambered in 22 long rifle, makes the recoil almost non-existent and the gun a ton of fun to shoot. Let me walk you through the gun, just show you around the pistol while I read you some of the dimensions. The specs on it, like I said, this is a full size 1911, chambered in 22 long rifle. It is eight and a half inches long and by the way, the pistol has been safety checked several times prior to the start of the video. It, is a, it does have a mag inserted in it, but it is clear. Like I said, it's eight and a half inches long from front to back of the beaver tail. It is five and a half inches tall. It is one and a quarter inches wide. The barrel is five inches and it weighs 35.2 ounces unloaded. When SIG started selling these, they came in at about $200 more expensive than what GSG was selling the pistols at that time. So, needless to say, they didn't sell too many of them. Also, SIG were not known for selling 22 long rifle 1911s. So SIG found themselves stuck with a bunch of these and their marketing department, I guess, came up with a brilliant idea of, hey, let's give them away for free when they purchased one of our other pistols. So SIG came up with a list of pistols that if you bought one, you got one of these for free. What they didn't realize was that the promotion was so successful they ran out of them without fulfilling all the obligations that they had for the pistols. So they had to fire up the production line again and off they went manufacturing the 1911-22 one more time. This was SIG's entry into the 1911 rim-fired pistol field and presumably what they wanted to do was give their regular 1911 customers, their 45 ACP customers, something to practice with that would mimic the same size and weight of the 45 ACP pistol, but much cheaper using the 22 long rifle. This is a blowback operated SIG 1911, and it is an all metal pistol with the exception of the grips. Everything in the gun is 100% metal. The barrel came threaded from the factory. This is a nice touch. Let me remove the mag and open this up for you. I'm trying to do this around a tripod. So, as you can tell here, if the light cooperates with me, the barrel came threaded from the factory. So, for a silencer, a compensator, I think that's going to work better lighting wise right there. There it is. So it's a nice touch that it came ready from the factory to accept a compensator or a silencer. The sights are traditional three dot sight and some models came with the yellow dots, as you see here, or with white dots. This particular example obviously came in with the yellow dots. 
it's not because they're old that's just the way they are and it's a very nice side picture I enjoy it now the finish on this gun SIG calls it the olive finish although they did make it as well in black and a dark earth with the same grips that are checkered rosewood and it has the US initials on the grip as you can see what's nice about the sights let me go back a little bit about the sights is that front and rear are dovetailed so unlike other 1911s you don't have to use a special tool to remove them they're dovetailed and ready to be changed if that's what you decide to do. All the controls are exactly the same as any other 1911. They're 100% ambidextrous. So you have the manual thumb safety. Internally, it comes with a magazine disconnect safety. Now, I don't know if you've been able to tell by now or not by all the shiny parts on it, this is not an original what I mean by that is that is there's been a lot of alterations, a lot of upgrades done to this pistol. It's not the way SIG sends it from the factory. I had ZR Tactical Solutions in here in Indiana to do a lot of work on this pistol. And one of the things they did, because I don't like them, we removed the mag disconnect safety. So that is no longer there. And I will, I will talk about what other things we did to it a little bit later on in the video. So the only reason I disconnected, I took away that mag disconnect safety, it just makes it a lot easier when you're practicing with it without, you can do it without having to have the mag in there. You also have the, the other normal safeties like the, the one here in the, in the beaver tail. The hammer and the trigger are semi-custom. They're both skeletonized, as you can see here. So both very nice. Now the trigger is very smooth, typical 1911, and it is a typical 1911 Series 70. Now I couldn't find my snap caps for a 22, so I know I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm gonna do it just a couple of times to show you. But I wanted you to see the trigger. So here it is. There's minimal, I mean, you're at the wall right there, there. And then maybe it helps if I take the safety off. It breaks. So once again, the reset is right there and it breaks. Just a wonderful trigger. They did a they did a really good job with it. According to SIG, their factory trigger breaks in anywhere from 4.2 to 5.6 pounds. This one, we measured it at 3.8. So everything internally that can be polished has been polished. And I think you can tell there, you can see all the shiny bits right there. Right there. Everything inside has been polished. And when you're looking at the pistol, you can see here that not only the bushing, guide rod is, everything is now stainless steel. Now I'm talking to you, about the upgrades that were done by ZR Tactical. Everything you see that is shiny has been changed and custom hand fitted to this particular pistol. And before I had all this work done, I was having the normal reliability issues that you would have with a 22 long rifle, you know, but since I've had these upgrades done, I have not had one malfunction with this pistol and I've shot quite a bit through it. So let me put this down and just show you the box that it came with. So our regular plastic case. But what I wanted to show you is all the parts that, if the light will cooperate with me here, all the parts that were replaced, you can see the bushings here, everything was black. It had a plastic guide rod, if you can see it there. So now everything is stainless steel. It comes with a regular six hour 
manual. It ca mine came with two mags, and the manual or six hour says that it came with mine with one. Mine came with two 10 round mags. You can see it says made in Germany. Very nice, and I can tell you these are one of the s smoothest and best operating mags I've ever seen in a pistol. It just it feels like they're on glass, like like glass with butter on it. I don't know how else to describe it. On rollers, it's just so smooth, and they're a little bit on the heavy side, 100% metal, just very nicely done. So it came with two of these. Mine came with two of these, and here you can see more of all the bits and pieces that were replaced by ZR Tactical. So they did a fantastic job. And if you want to take your pistol to the next level, I think it's something if you want to invest in that, something you can do. And it's worth every penny because it's made this gun not only 100% reliable, but it's made it fun, a lot of fun to shoot. One thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to go through the process of disassembling this and trying to do it around a tripod. 19, disassembling 1911s is not my forte. But what I wanted to show you is a couple of things that are critical for this. And I didn't know because I didn't read the manual, I guess. But one of the first thing, the first thing you need to do is there's supposed to be a screw right here. And when you do all the upgrades that ZR Tactical does, it removes the need for this screw. So, but if you have the, the normal one, the, the, the original uh, version, you have to unscrew this and remove the screw, and then you have to punch this peg out. So once you remove the screw, punch the peg, then you can turn it around, pop this out, and you disassemble it like any other 1911. Okay, so to put it back together, you do the same thing. You pop the pin, screw, line, line it up, pop it back in, and then you're set to go. All right, so those are the two important things to remember about assembling and disassembling for cleaning this pistol, is to remember those two items right there. This one is gone for mine, and I'm very happy about that. So the MSRP on this pistol, when it came out and before they started giving it away for free, came in at $460. Right now you can routinely find them for anywhere between $350 to $400, somewhere in there. I can tell you that I spent about $250 doing the upgrades. But again, it was worth every penny. So there it is, just wanted to show you this. My 1911 22 from Six Hour, one of the most fun pistols that I have to shoot. Absolutely love this thing. If you have one, I recommend thoroughly that you check out those upgrades like I did to mine because, like I said, they're worth every penny. So there it is, guys. Playing with a focus here. Six Hour 1911 22, one of the most fun guns that I have in the collection. If you like what you see, please consider clicking the subscribe and the like buttons. And until the next one, God bless.